Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday. Um, I hope your weekend and yesterday was hydrating. You ate good, you felt good, um, and all that jazz, right? So let's kick off today. And um, for some reason, I'm being told to take this card and then the one at the bottom. So I'll go through this one first and then the one at the bottom. All right. Woo. Okay. So this actually might be helpful for a lot of you. Um, the past, like, month and a half has been energetically chaotic. Okay. It's... I don't know, it's just like been like constant PMS or something as the wonderful truck rolls by with its noise. Um, it's just like energy has been like, like sporadic and everything, right? And um, even the meditation group that I lead, I noticed last weekend that like none of them could get grounded and I'm like what is going on and then I'm like okay well I kind of know what's going on but you know we don't know everything right so if anything take some time to get yourself really environmentally grounded and centered and what that means is if you need to start cleaning your house, clean your fucking house. If you need to clean out your refrigerator, clean out your fucking refrigerator. Anything, like any area, like a physical area in your home that needs to, that's like, I shouldn't say needs to, that feels like, like it just throws you off. That's the area you need to focus on. And while we tend to always want to run from these things, we, we can no longer do that, right? Because then it just gets bigger and more chaotic and more sporadic. And then you, you lose your fucking mind, right? So rather than losing your mind, take care of that. Now, this also goes for anything that you've been eating, right? Um, if you find yourself having like your, your diet is just switching on you. Like you're not eating the things that you used to and you want to eat other things. Follow that path because it's trying to lead you to a more grounded place. Could Because sometimes you get so used to eating something that you didn't realize that it really wasn't doing anything for you. So allow your body to move you that way, right? Um, and also, you know, coming with these retrogrades and we were in Gemini season, which is a very um, thought-provoking season to be in and now we're moving into an emotional roller coaster of cancer um those two things together create some sort of hurricane so rather than being swept up in that bullshit let's call it what it is um try to find peace for yourself first and then the things around you will flow into that piece. And if they don't, that means they're not meant to. And you might have to, like, leave it be for a while, right? And that's okay. Like, it's okay to take a break from shit. Just gonna put that out there, right? Um, you don't want you, you don't want to, like, feel so all over the place that you can't, you can't hear, you can't listen, you can't you know, feel, um, safe or, um, less anxious or anything like that. So you want to get yourself into a really good space, if that makes sense. So this is all about the physical space. So like if you use crystals, um, some good crystals would be like, um, especially grounding crystals, you can use, um, any red crystal, but some you don't want to use. So, like, you can use, like, your jasper, your red jasper variety, or even, like, mahogany jasper, um, anything, like, it has to be, like, more towards the reddish color, like, brick red or something like that. 
um, you can use red coral if you can get your hands on that okay um, you can use a red quartz um, not the dyed variety you want it to be more on the natural um, side so like you know like like abertrine like you know which is green it's, it's a green quartz okay so basically red quartz um, you can use um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head there's different crystals that you can use you can even use rose quartz if it's like a deeper rose quartz like it's not as clear um, you can even use that to kind of help you kind of come to terms you can wear the color red you can eat red colored foods um, like if you like beets and that's your jam go ahead and use that I don't so I'm not fucking with it okay um, I'll eat like red pears or um, red apples or something like that um, red peppers um, anything like that okay you want to get as close to the earth as possible or as close to that that root color as possible so um, try to stick to things of that variety um, you can also drink like um, hibiscus tea it's it's typically red in color um, anything that's like around that realm if that makes sense you want to like kind of in introduce those things to your body if you if you're able to I should say now that being said let's flip to the bottom card and see what it has to say all right now some of y'all need to speak the hell up and that's that's that <laughs> that's really that uh, but make sure like you know it's okay to speak your mind it's totally okay to speak your mind what's not okay is to speak your mind and not have uh, and, and be cruel let me say it that way it's okay to speak your mind but it's not okay to be cruel it's not okay to be um, what's the word I'm looking for passive right you want to be assertive in what you're speaking you want to be like when you put your goals out there when you put your um requests out there be assertive not aggressive not passive be assertive because you want it known that this is exactly what you want now you're not at that point where you feel confident about it what it is that you need to say or speak or um, bring into existence then don't say it yet right until you've reconfigured it in such a way that you are totally confident with it. It's the same as affirmations. You know, you should, you know, with affirmations, you want to speak it into, until you really feel it and then you embrace it and then you become it and then you allow that to uh, sort of like lead you through, if that makes sense. Um, so, it's the same concept. Make sure that you actually feel it. You can sense it. You can become it. You can, you know, all these things are just there. And it's uh, allowing you to really, like, own your words, right? So a lot of this has to do with how you guys are putting your request out there. Like, if you're asking of something from the universe, make sure you really want that right but don't be cruel when you ask for it you know manners are a thing okay um so just kind of keep that in mind all right that being said i wish you all the brightest of blessings stay hydrated eat something good and make it a good day